health care. Well, we're talking here about Obamacare and Romney care. I would call it insurance company care because they're the ones that wrote it. They joined up with a very conservative foundation years ago to develop this plan to make the American people buy this perverse product. Again, we're the only country in the world that depends upon for-profit insurance companies for the majority of our coverage for health care for those who are lucky enough to have it. There are now over 50 million people without basic health care coverage in this country. The latest report indicates that there will be over 30 million people without essential health care coverage when Obamacare is fully implemented. That means misery, it means extended disease, it means extended illness and injuries, and it means the loss of lives. Now over 40,000 people in this country die every year because of the lack of health care. And I talked earlier about the enormous rates of infant mortality and maternal mortality. These are women and children dying because, primarily because they don't have access to health care and there's still going to be that major problem and watch your premium skyrocket. It's already happened since the beginning of this program and it's just going to get far worse. So. What we need is what the vast majority of Americans said they wanted during the health care debate. There were some 70% or more people and the majority of doctors saying, we want a single payer Medicare for all system. President Obama and his compatriots that were colluding with the insurance companies wouldn't even let a single payer Medicare for all proposal see the light of day in Congress. And then the president folded even on the idea of a public option. It was an enormous betrayal of the public interest so that they could please the for-profit insurance company that has such a stranglehold on our Congress and now on our White House. Dr. Jill Stein, this is your profession, health care. That's right. It's my profession, and this is where I live. I live in the state of Massachusetts. So I've seen the Affordable Care Act. We also call it Romney Care or Obamacare. Take your pick. Uh, we've seen it actually roll out, and what we've seen is that the Affordable Care Act actually, in the flesh, is neither affordable nor caring because, in fact, it provides stripped down plans which are fairly expensive unless you are in a very uh, low income, unless you're poor uh, and you're covered. Costs go up astoundingly. So if you are making less than $20,000 a year as a family, uh, you're covered. And it actually has uh, expanded care for the very poor, and that's a good thing. But if you're in that twenty dollars to $40,000 bracket, so near poor and fairly poor, I think, by many standards, uh, actually your costs go up. 5% of your income, which is just a staggering amount of money, to add an additional 5% of your income to your health care costs. And yet, you are not covered. So on average, these plans cover about 75% of your costs. Or actually, I think it's more like 70% of your costs. Yet you're paying approximately 10% of your income for them. So it's not affordable for families. You're not fully covered. The proof of the pudding here is that when people uh, get sick in Massachusetts, Massachusetts now, they go into medical bankruptcy just as much as they did before, uh, before we had the Affordable Care Act. And it's certainly not affordable for government, not for state government, not for municipalities, not for small businesses. Costs are skyrocketing and it's cannibalizing all other aspects of budget. The answer here is Medicare for all, which provides care for everyone comprehensively. You are in charge, not your, your boss at work or not a profiteering CEO, but you get to call the shots. and well-kept secret, it actually saves us trillions of dollars over the coming decade because it eliminates that massive, wasteful health insurance bureaucracy and it stabilizes medical inflation. So it is a win-win. It's absolutely, um, you know, it's a sign of how hijacked Washington and our state capitals are that we don't have Medicare for all right now. We go back to presidential debate moderator Jim Lehrer.